Imagine a world where audacious plans, daring escapes, and mind-boggling sums of money intertwine in a dangerous dance. This is a world where billions are stolen in heists from the globe's most secure banks, fast-moving trains, and diamond industry. There's no safe place from the cunning and tenacity of notorious thieves. Their audacity matched only by law enforcement's pursuit of justice, creates a thrilling saga. The stage is set for a grand showdown, a cat and mouse game where the stakes are high and the consequences even higher. This is not just about money but about the thrill, the chase, the escape. And you are right in the middle. A spectator in the greatest game of all, ready to delve deep, stay tuned as we unravel the stories of the top 10 bank robberies of all time. First on our list is the infamous Willie Sutton. Born in 1901, Sutton was an American bank robber notorious for his cunning mind and exceptional guile. During his extensive criminal career he became a legend due to his remarkable disguises and astoundingly brilliant escape tactics. Sutton was not only a mere thief, he was a master of disguise often impersonating police officers, maintenance personnel, or even public officials to carry out his heists. His audacious plans and his ability to elude the authorities time and again earned him the moniker Slick Willie. His exploits entered the annals of history, leaving a legacy that continues to captivate criminologists and crime enthusiasts alike. Over the course of his 40-year criminal career, it is believed that Sutton stole an estimated $2 million. His most significant heist occurred in 1952, when he made off with half a million dollars. Next we journey to England in 1963, where the Great Train Robbery took place. This audacious event unfolded on a seemingly ordinary day in August, when a group of 15 bandits set their eyes on a Royal Mail train. This wasn't any ordinary train but a moving vault carrying millions of pounds. These criminals, armed with sheer audacity and a meticulously thought-out plan, were ready to history. The conspirators had a diverse range of skills, from safe-cracking to getaway driving and a shared dream to pull off the unthinkable. Their target was an astounding 2.6 million pounds, an amount that had never before been stolen in a single heist in Britain. The audacious plan began with tampering with railway signals, leading the train to a secluded location. Subsequently, they overpowered the train staff, breached the high-security carriage, and made away with the massive loot. As news of the robbery broke, it sent shockwaves across the nation and beyond. It was more than just a theft. It was a daring challenge to the system. The aftermath of the robbery was dominated by an extensive manhunt, as the authorities swung into action determined to bring the perpetrators to justice. The audacity of the heist and the subsequent manhunt made it one of the most famous robberies in British history. Let's fast forward to 1976 in Lebanon, where the British Bank of the Middle East was robbed of $25 million. The scene was ominous, a tension-filled night as the robbers, all associates of the infamous Palestine Liberation Organization, carefully planned their audacious heist. Armed with a dangerous arsenal of explosives, they knew the risks they were taking, but the allure of the enormous payload was too enticing to resist. In the quiet of the night a deafening blast shattered the serenity. The bank's mighty walls gave way, a testament to the explosives' power. Yet their mission was only half accomplished. The theft of the staggering $25 million was not as straightforward as breaking down walls. The robbers soon faced a colossal vault, impervious to their explosives. They were left with no choice but to enlist the expertise of a professional locksmith, someone who could breach the vault without causing further destruction. The locksmith, unbeknownst to him, was coerced into complicity. Under the veil of fear and threats, he opened the seemingly unbreachable vault for them, exposing the coveted treasure within. In the end, the audacious robbery of the British Bank of the Middle East was completed, marking a dark day in Lebanon's history. The robbers, associated with the Palestine Liberation Organization, used explosives to break into the bank and then enlisted the help of a locksmith to open the vault. In 1983, the Central Bank of Iraq was the subject of one of the most audacious bank heists in the annals of crime. This was not your typical robbery with masked men rushing into a bank guns blazing. No, this was a more sophisticated operation. The orchestration was of such a magnitude that it wasn't exactly a run-of-the-mill heist. It was an operation that was led by a man, a man of immense power within the country. The architects of this heist were not ordinary criminals but men who held the highest positions of power. The mastermind behind this grand scheme, this grand theft was none other than the country's president Saddam Hussein. No simple thief, but a ruler who dared to steal nearly one billion dollars. The turn of the millennium brought with it one of the most audacious heists ever witnessed. 
This was not some ordinary crime. No, this was a feat of criminal genius that would go down in history books as one of the most daring and audacious capers ever to be enacted. It was in the year 2005 in the heart of Brazil where the infamous Banco Central burglary took place. This audacious burglary was not the work of a spur-of-the-moment plan, but rather a meticulously planned operation. A of criminals whose names remain shrouded in mystery had rented a house not far from the Banco Central, an official monetary authority. They spent three months burrowing a tunnel of about 78 meters in length and approximately 70 centimeters in diameter from the house to the bank's vault. This was no ordinary tunnel, it was a marvel of illicit engineering, equipped with lighting, air conditioning, and even a railway system for shifting the loot. The tunnel ended up right beneath the bank's vault, a place that held a treasure worth a king's ransom. The criminals, displaying an audacity that was both shocking and awe-inspiring, managed to make off with over $70 million. This grand larceny showcased a level of daring and ingenuity that is rarely seen even in the world of crime. The Banco Central burglary in Brazil in 2005 saw a group of criminals dig a tunnel from a rented house to the bank's vault, stealing over $70 million. Now we move on to the United Bank of Switzerland in 2007, where a gang of thieves stole $64 million worth of diamonds in a meticulously planned heist. This tale of audacity and precision is one for the history books. The bank, known for its high security and prestige, nestled in the heart of Zurich, was targeted in a daring operation that left the world in shock. The thieves, armed with nothing but cunning and courage, were meticulously methodical and disciplined. Every detail of their plan was carefully thought out. They knew the blueprints of the bank like the back of their hands, having spent countless nights memorizing each corner and curve. The diamonds, nestled securely in their vault, were valued at an astonishing $64 million. The thieves had their eyes on this hefty jackpot, ready to risk everything for a chance at unimaginable wealth. The heist took place under the cloak of darkness with the thieves relying on stealth and timing to avoid detection. They maneuvered through the bank's labyrinth-like interior, avoiding security measures with calculated ease. With the swiftness and precision of a surgeon performing a delicate operation, they breached the vault, making off with the glittering spoils. The aftermath of the heist was a scene of bewildered chaos, as bank staff and authorities grappled with the audacity of the criminals and the flawlessness of their execution. The investigation that followed was intensive and far-reaching, but the thieves had vanished without a trace, leaving behind only a legend of their audacious act. The event would forever be marked as one of the biggest heists of the decade, raising questions about the security measures of even the most trusted financial institutions, the audacious act proved that even the most fortified fortresses could be penetrated by those daring enough to test their defenses. A gang of thieves stole $64 million worth of diamonds in a meticulously planned heist. In 2008, something extraordinary happened. The Dar es Salaam Bank, a well-respected financial institution located in the heart of Iraq, was subjected to a theft so audacious that it shocked the entire nation and sent ripples out through the global banking industry. The thieves didn't use a sophisticated plan, there was no high-tech gadgetry or fast getaway vehicles involved. The protagonists of this story were not typical robbers wearing ski masks and wielding weapons, instead, they were insiders, employees of the bank itself. Their positions? They were trusted guards, individuals who were expected to safeguard the very thing they stole. Their loot was not a few thousand or even a few million, it was a staggering $282 million, an amount so enormous it is hard to fathom. They didn't need to break any vaults or bypass any security systems, they simply performed their regular duties with a hidden agenda. As the day came to an end, they walked away, slipping through the city's bustling streets unnoticed. They disappeared into the crowd, leaving behind a trail of shock and disbelief. While the bank scrambled to figure out what had happened, the culprits were long gone. The scale of their audacity was breathtaking, they were insiders, two guards who simply walked away with the money. In 2009, the Banco de la Nación in Peru stood as a symbol of wealth and security. Towering over the city, it was an institution that held the trust of the Peruvian people. Nestled within its fortified walls lay millions of dollars, the life savings of many, the capital of businesses, and the financial backbone of the nation. It was here in this seemingly impenetrable fortress that an audacious plan was hatched. 
a group of individuals, bound by their criminal intent, decided to take on the challenge of looting the bank. Unlike common thieves who resort to stealth, these men chose brute force for their sinister operation. They planned meticulously, detailing every possible scenario and calculating every potential risk. Their chosen tools were not lockpicks or silent drills but heavy machinery and dynamite, instruments that signaled their brazen disregard for subtlety. With a chilling precision they executed their plan. The city awoke to the thunderous sound of the bank's vault being blown open. Panic and confusion ensued as law enforcement grappled to respond to the audacious attack. In the midst of the chaos the gang disappeared becoming ghosts in the night. By the time the dust had settled and order was restored, the bank's vault stood open, a hollow shell of its former glory. The loss was tremendous and the shock reverberated throughout the country. The Banco de la Nación in Peru was robbed of $3 million by a gang who used dynamite and heavy machinery to break into the bank's vault. The year 2013 marked an extraordinary event, as it saw one of the largest heists in history, a heist that occurred at the Antwerp Diamond Center in Belgium. This was no ordinary theft. The audacity, the sheer scale of it left everyone baffled. Nestled in the heart of Belgium, the Antwerp Diamond Center was renowned for its security measures, making it a formidable fortress that was supposed to be impregnable, a safe haven for precious gems. Yet, a group of daring thieves managed to bypass the elaborate security system, they maneuvered their way into the vaults, which were believed to be impenetrable. This was not a random act, it was an intricately planned operation, executed with precision and perfect timing. The loot was staggering. Diamonds, rubies, sapphires, and emeralds, each stone contributing to the astronomical sum of the robbery. A crime scene investigation was initiated and yet, the thieves slipped away, disappearing into the night with their bounty. The world's eyes were on Belgium that day, as it witnessed a diamond heist like no other. The audacious thieves stole over $100 million worth of diamonds and other precious gems. Finally we reached the 21st century's most significant heist to date. The Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Burglary in London, 2015. This tale is not simply about a crime but rather a monumental event that shook the very foundations of London's security establishments. The infamous burglary was no ordinary feat. It was a meticulously calculated operation that would later be remembered as a remarkable blend of audacity and brilliance. The plot involved an unlikely team, an elderly gang of thieves, who were far from being novices. Each one of them was a seasoned criminal, having years of experience under their belt. They were old, but their spirit was young and daring. Together, they embarked on a mission that would etch their names into the annals of crime history. Their target was the Hatton Safe Deposit, an institution thought to be impenetrable. The vault, protected by multiple layers of high-end security, was believed to be an unassailable fortress. Yet, these senior thieves managed to find a flaw. Using a diamond-tipped industrial drill, they bore their way into the vault. The sound of the drill boring into the thick walls echoed through the quiet night, marking the success of their audacious plan. The loot was beyond imagination. It was an astonishing assortment of riches, an estimated 14 million pounds in cash and jewelry. The elder gang had pulled off an unthinkable feat leaving London in a state of shock and disarray. In conclusion, these audacious heists have captivated the world for their sheer audacity and meticulous planning. Noted for their daring exploits, clever disguises and ingenious tunneling, these criminals have etched their names in the annals of criminal history. We recount the exploits of Willie Sutton, known for his cunning disguises, and the anonymous Banco Central burglars, remembered for their gutsy tunneling tactic. These tales of audacious robberies are indeed intriguing, uncovering the nerve-wracking, breathtaking and ultimately tragic lengths individuals are willing to go in the quest for ill-gotten wealth. Yet they clearly underline the negative consequences of such actions. Indeed, as the cliché goes, crime never pays. Thus, while we marvel at these tales, they provide a stark reminder of the lengths criminals will go to in pursuit of wealth. Crime, as they say, doesn't pay. 